me, Frankie, two socks, and Eddie, and his son, is on the way to, for fishing outing at um, Mapalon Bay. I see Advantage Charter 3 has already arrived, and Berna has been taking the mickey out of me the whole morning for being late. But yeah, did some nice photo shoots of the mud banks of the estuary. And now we are on our way to the boat launching site. And from there we will move into Mapelon Bay. The tractor that you hear there in the distance is Numzan. We just dropped it by this Charter 3 at the launching site. But we'll be there in about five minutes. Not too long ago we could stand here and fish for Granter. Rock salmon, yellowfin bream, perch, salmon, better known as cob. Now it's just a beautiful mud plain, mud bath. Got a moderately strong northeasterly blowing, a choppy sea, beautiful sunrise, flat ocean, flat beaches. Darna tell him he's ready. Bring me, bring me, bring me. Nimzan is coming. Nimzan has got the right gear. Two fifties is on the run. Old fishermen tell say when you see this on the beach, you know that the fish won't be biting for the day. What the reason is, I don't know. All I know is that um, plow snails do feed on this and they sting the hell out of you and you have to use the fig that grows on the dunes to neutralize the sting or anything that is alkaline based acid to neutralize the sting. Oh well, the boat launches was right into the sunlight and played havoc on this lens flare. Went to the link channel and found this two Egyptian beach to photograph. And they gave us quite a show. My first bird in flight. What a beautiful photograph if I have to say so myself. My favorite photo of the day is the twin Egyptian geese. In While I was concentrating taking the pictures of the Egyptian geese, this guy was lying in the bank and then he sneaked into the water. Don't you just leave, love the petite face of the black twinged stilt? So soft and elegant. They almost look female. I'm sexist. I don't know what these species are, and I don't know that looks like a normal uh, sand lover. And this is the water thickney of a water de kop. Coming back, me and Frankie Tusox from the For You to Fish campaign found it very interesting 
that these casuarinas are allowed to grow here since casuarinas were used to for dune stabilization and were removed from the dunes and the beaches of St. Lucia history. Just after 4 me and Pardet went for a stroll, we found this green wood whoopoo and a family of African whoopoops in the park between Pelican, Flamingo and Katonko Street. What a beautiful sightings this was. Got, even got some video of the, the whoopoop family. Have a look. A nice bird party of African whoopoops. Bardet is going to scare them into flight. List. No, she's not. She's going for another tree. Pied wagtail coming into the viewfinder. Further down a drag at the end of Pelican Street, we found this fig tree with a bird party in it and the birds frolicking and feeding lovely. Amazing what variety of species there was, I don't even know half of them. But we found this pigeon dove feeding on the figs. This is not it. There is the pigeon dove. Sunset Jetty, we ran into this uh, black lacewing thingy and uh, made a short video clip where it was feeding and what came out of its wing was almost alien, almost yucky. Have a look and say what you think about it. Thank you for Advantage Crew, St. Lucia Tours and Charters, One Mackenzie Street, St. Lucia History, for sponsoring the storytelling videos. We, me and Pardet are here. Pardet, pass, yeah, come. There she's behind me. We are at um, Sunset Jetty to conclude the daily videos. Did some beautiful bird photography today. And um, yeah, just waiting for the boats to come in so that we can say goodbye to today.